I feel ashamed of myself. What have I done all these years? After all these years, I feel like asking so many questions. Why is this happening? Here comes Ten, the teacher. Let's ask him. Shut up! We, we won't, won't shut, shut up. up! What is the matter with you? Nothing is the matter with us. You'll, You'll have to answer us. There are no reasons, only rules. What if we don't follow them? You go to the dogs! Then let us go to the dogs. But why? We will face the consequences. What do I hear? We are peace-loving country! We have pledged to destroy this peace. Oh, Miss Hart! Do you hear? They are out to destroy our peace! Our peace is like an ancient tree. Its bark is moth-eaten. It's better to chop it down. Shame on you! How could you speak like that? A woman should always protect the peace. And a man should protect heritage. You have drugged us with your peace long enough. But not anymore. Our blood had been frozen. Oh, Lord! Who has taught you to speak like that? He who has pervaded all of me. And he whose songs are pervading the skies. What? Songs in the sky? That is the end of the land of playing cards. It's time to flee. Lady, lead us. You have found the key to freedom. Enlighten us. We are living in insult. God's big joke. Let's leave once and for all. One foot out of line and they find faults. They say we have disgraced them. Faults are not so bad. But there is nothing more disgraceful than being dead. Here comes Miss Ten. We are done for. Why are you hiding? You are unrecognizable, Miss Ace and Miss Spade. What have you done to yourselves? Behaving as humans? Do you have no shame? This is not make-believe. The past was a charade. The rules of our land have been strengthened for thousands of years. How did this happen? It was just a gust of wind. What are you saying? A gust of wind has never been able to loosen our principles before. That's an insult to the god of wind. What kind of disgraced land is this, where dry leaves blow in the wind? You can see with your own eyes what the god of wind has done. It's not right to be so light-hearted about the gods. They say in the holy texts that the god of wind has a son who leaps around everywhere. He could be playing pranks. It's not just us. Haven't you noticed? He is playing pranks on the whole of this country, igniting passions in the heart of all the women. The foreigners say that he is their forefather. It's possible that they are the descendants of the dynasty of Great Leap. Tell us the truth. Haven't you been feeling jittery too of late? You have to answer. You won't tell anyone, would you? I promise. I dreamt last night that I have become human. I felt ashamed of myself when I woke up, but... But what? Let it be. I understand. The caged bird was set free in her dream. Shut up. If Nine, the teacher, hears this, he'll punish me. It's sin. But the dream was so pleasant. Whatever you say, the wind has really blown strong. Changed everything in its path. Yes, but there is still a lot left to change. The veil has been blown away, but the twisted anklet is still not straight. I know. 
My heart is traveling between two shoals of the sea. Can't you see Miss Club is wearing a human mask which was made in our workshop? It sure looks strange. Maybe we all look a little strange since we cannot see ourselves. I heard the merchant yesterday. He was saying that we all look like human clones. Oh, what a shame. And what did the prince say? He got mad. He said that this only reveals our true selves. If you want to make fun of anyone, go and laugh at those humans who try to be cards. How can that be possible? Humans aping cards? What do they do? The prince was saying that they smear color on their lips, paint their eyebrows, and also wear leather soles below their feet. Why? They feel uplifted by not touching the ground. All this is so card-like. Painted. The gods are playing the fool. The cards want to be human and the humans want to dress up like cards. I have decided to be initiated as a human from the prince. Me too. Even